Today we will go over simple pH electrode maintenance including cleaning the electrode, spinning the electrode, and shorting the meter. To do this, you will need a beaker with soapy water, pH 4 buffer, toothbrush, and paper clip. First we will clean the electrode using the soapy water and toothbrush. Dip the bulb of the electrode and toothbrush in the beaker of soapy water and then gently scrub the bulb of the pH electrode with the toothbrush. Over time, the bulb on the end of the electrode will require cleaning so that your electrode can continue to provide you with accurate measurements. Your electrode may have salt residue on the outside, which comes from the internal filling solution. This is normal and does not mean that the electrode is broken, but it should be cleaned off. Once you have done this, you will then want to soak the electrode in pH 4 buffer for at least one hour. Sometimes an air bubble will form in the bulb of your electrode. When this happens, it can cause erroneous readings. To remove the bubble, you will want to spin the electrode. This is done by grabbing the cable of the electrode and spinning it around. Be sure that you are away from anything or anyone that you could hit with the electrode. This spinning will force the air bubble from the bulb of the electrode to the top of the body where it will not cause a problem. Most issues with pH are caused due to problems with the electrode, but there are times when the meter may be the problem. If you suspect that your meter has a problem, you can verify this by shorting out the meter. For this you will need a paper clip and will want to unplug your pH electrode from your meter so you have access to the BNC plug on the back of the meter. You will want to undo the paper clip so you have both ends side by side. With the meter on, you will take one end of the paper clip and stick it into the single pin hole of the BNC connection. Then take the other end of the paper clip and touch it to the collar of the connection. You will then want to look at your display and make sure that it reads 7.00 pH. If that is the case, then the meter is fine. If your display is fluctuating between different values, then there is an issue with the meter and you can contact an application specialist for further instructions.